Hi friends, my name is Claudia and this is my Heal It Yourself series where you tell me your success stories of how you healed yourself naturally and I share it with the world to show the world natural healing really works. So this week's episode is all about garlic and early in the week we talked about how um, Jackie, my friend Jackie, um, is able to help her daughter resolve her cold and flu symptoms um, by mashing up garlic and putting it under her feet and then putting a sock over it or mashing up garlic and putting it in a jar with oil uh, to soak in oil like um, olive oil or coconut oil and then slathering the oil underneath her foot and then putting the sock over that. Um, and uh, we also talked about um, different um, ailments uh, that uh, garlic is good for. Uh, and then today we're going to be sharing uh, two additional stories that a couple of our TikTok friends uh, so graciously shared with us. Um, but of course, before we get started, the disclaimer is this is not intended as medical advice. This is for informational um, educational and entertainment purposes only. Please do proper research before you try anything you see on the internet and always consult with your healthcare professional for what is best for you, okay? Um, so um, the first story comes from my TikTok in English and it's from Gloria Valdez. And she says, my son had a cut on his foot. We lived in Mexico, his foot got infected and I put garlic oil on it and the infection was healed. Uh, thank you so much, Gloria, for sharing your amazing story. Um, I have uh, in one of her conferences, uh, Barbara O'Neill does say uh, that based on research that I guess that she saw, um, that um, garlic acts uh, or is six times stronger than tetracycline, which is a very common antibiotic. Um, so it's a pretty amazing alternative. If you do the proper research and dose yourself properly, you could really use it as an antibiotic. And I think it's just amazing uh, that we can heal infections and everything, you know, utilizing natural things because um, prescribed antibiotics can have a lot of side effects, you know, and there's not really um, a lot of side effects other than, you know, garlic breath and um, possibly an allergic reaction. But I mean, an allergic reaction you could have to any kind of medication as well, you know, so you got to kind of weigh the pros and cons. Um, and definitely do your research, okay? So the next story uh, comes from Lily Toquinto, and she's from my TikTok in Espanol. And she says um, that she was diagnosed with stage three uh, cancer. I asked her what kind of cancer it was, and she says it was uh, in her uterus. Um, so she had uterine, I think they call it uterine cancer. Um, and she said she started uh, drinking something that she named the garlic juice, uh, which is garlic, lemon, honey, and water. Uh, she says, I call it the garlic juice. Once I get the juice from the lemon, I place it all into a blender um, with, with garlic, um, sorry, I place it all into a blender, garlic, lemons, honey, and water, and blend well and drink half a cup a day. Um, and she said she was able to uh, heal herself of her cancer. Um, she also said um, that uh, there is another lady who had the same diagnosis as she did and she gave her the recipe and that lady was also able to cure herself. So I think that's absolutely amazing whenever we can heal something as serious as cancer utilizing natural methods. I'm just always wowed by it um you know i really believe the earth was made to help us heal um and i think like this is proof like tangible proof you know of people uh talking about their experiences so thank you so much lily and gloria for sharing with us um you know if you have uh, cancer or some type of infection that you're struggling with, definitely look into garlic. Um, you know, if you Google garlic and pretty much like whatever illness you're looking to resolve into the internet, I wouldn't Google because Google hides a lot of information. You know, there there's a lot of money that kind of influences what we're able to actually see on Google, um, you know. 
the people with the most money pay so that you see their information first. Um, so, you know, if you use alternative uh, search engines, maybe Yandex or any other type of search engine other than Google, I would say maybe Yandex or DuckDuckGo, although DuckDuckGo is kind of questionable sometimes, um, use Yandex <laughs> or there's a few other ones. Um, but definitely research it online. Usually you will find hundreds of people who have uh, this had the same illness um, and they are like literally telling you like what they tried and how they failed on certain things and how the, what things were successful. You can find so much information when you're trying to heal naturally because although it's not outwardly advertised, you know, in the medical industry, um, you can find a lot of information online. Who, who becomes a better expert than somebody who has been diagnosed with something and is looking to heal themselves naturally? Somebody with any type of diagnosis has done you know, extensive research to try to heal themselves. I would say they're probably pretty expert on their matter, especially if they actually did get to heal it utilizing natural methods completely. Um, so definitely research. You can always do in the search engine, you know, like if you have breast cancer, you could put uh, garlic and breast cancer or whatever it is you're trying to heal. Um, and you'll see a lot of stuff pop up if you utilize the right um, search places. Um, but definitely look into it. It's definitely worth um, the research. Okay, so thank you again, Lily and Gloria, for sharing your amazing stories. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to check out my Espanol channel if you like my content, but would prefer it in Espanol. Um, and uh, don't forget to um, uh, continue sending me uh, your stories of how you were able to heal yourself so I can continue sharing your amazing experiences with the world. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.